through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. First off, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And hey, the brother Ram and the, and the elder brought it out mighty in the spirit. We're going to keep rolling on with it, right? And hey, how y'all lovely ladies doing? Wonderful. Good. Y'all believe in the Bible? Yes. All right, y'all got two minutes? I do. Okay, what's your ethnicity according to the Bible? As far as you want me to tell you that I'm Israelite, or you want me to tell you I'm, I'm just asking you a question. I'm, I'm just asking you. Who would you, who would you say your uh, nationality? So according to the Bible, I am the daughter of the living God. Okay, all uh, praise. But what is your name according to the Bible? What did God call you? Come, just come up here real quick. We ain't gonna take, we ain't gonna take too much of your time. Hold on, hold on. Well, tell her to come up here too. We, we are here for y'all, all right? So, who would your uh, father's nationality be? No, I'm just asking, so, according to your, who would your father's nationality be? You know what I'm saying? Your father, who would your father, who is his, what is his ethnicity? He stole me. What do you mean by that? Um, Cuban, but you don't know what your father is. Okay. Well, if he is so called Negro, then you will be an Israelite according to the Bible. More than likely, you will probably be from the tribe of Judah or maybe Benjamin or Levi. Right? But nevertheless, you will be an Israelite. Right? All right. So y'all, so both of y'all will be Israelites. So her to come up here. We ain't gonna bite you. Yeah, we ain't gonna bite you. All right, sister. All right. So now that you know you are Israelite. What, are, what does God require of us? To worship, how do we do that? Okay, but how do we, it's a, a specific thing that we got to do though. Well, you got to tell me what it is you're looking for because right. I'm telling you what it is mm -hmm. according to the word. Okay, well, we go show you. Give me uh, Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Let's go with it. Let me get Deuteronomy 10 and 12, right? <laughs> Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So read that. We go show you. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 verse 12. And now Israel. And now what? And now Israel. Israel. Now you know you were Israelite, right? So let's see. Let's, all right, let's show you what you got to do, right? Read. What doth the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. That's the most important part right here. So let's listen to this. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Wait, to do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. My sister got to do? To keep the commandments of the Lord. My sister, what do you have to do? What does God require of you? Oh, uh, praise to the most high. Okay. So I, the, next, the next thing is, what are some of the commandments? Do you know any commandments? Okay, so name some of the ones that you know. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's good. All right, let me get my video case and tell you Okay, that's good. That's part of the, uh, the Ten Commandments, right? But according to the Bible, there's many more commandments. There's, there's way more than Ten Commandments. Okay. Yeah, I see. Right? All right, so let's show you one commandment. Read that. Let me get uh, 1 Timothy 2 and 9. The book of Leviticus, chapter 11, verse 2. 
I told him to get. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. Leviticus 11, verse 2. Verse 7. Verse 7. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. And the swine. Do you eat pig? You do not. What about uh, shrimp? Do you eat shrimp? You should be, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, we, uh, uh, we go, and we gonna keep going. We gonna keep going. Jump down. And she said, keep going. We gonna keep going. These shall ye eat of all that are in the water. That are in the what? In the water. Oh, she said, hold on. Listen to this part. Read that. Whatsoever have fins and scales. Have what? Have fins and scales. Have what? Fins and scales. Does shrimp have fins and scales? No. It doesn't have scales. Okay, but what did, what did he say? He said fins and scales. Yeah. You can't have one or the other. You know, sometimes it can trick All right, we're going to keep reading on. No, but are you keeping it? Something. Hold on, wait a minute. What are you talking about? Sometimes we got to be for the Lord all the time. The Lord is for us all the time, right? Okay, but... but all right, read it. Whatsoever has fins and scales in the waters, in the sea, and in the rivers, then shall ye eat. Right. And all that have not fins and scales. What the Lord say about that shirt? All that have not fins and scales. What about that lobster? Have, have not fins and scales. What about that crab? Have not fins and scales. What about that catfish? Have not fins and scales. Right, but he said have not fins and scales. So all those things are an abomination unto the Most High God. Read it. They shall be an abomination. They shall be a what? They shall be an abomination. Is that shrimp she be eating? They shall be an abomination. A what? An abomination. An abomination. Don't right? call them Mari. So you can't. I call them Mari. No. So look. So look, look, look. Hold on. You got. You got. Hold on. You got substitutes, right? We going to second. Oh, we gonna get there, but you gotta slow down. You gotta slow down, right? Okay, okay, I'm gonna get there, but listen, right? So according to the Bible, no more shrimp, no more crab, lobster, none of them. All right, but did, did you get? Cause, hey, give me Hebrews 10 and 26. All right, we gonna go there. Give me Hebrews 10 and 26. Excuse me. Yeah, first of all, right, that's one commandment. We told you. We told we told you, right? No more shrimp, no more crab, lobster, none of that. We gonna give you another command. All right. This is, this all right, we're going to show you something. First Timothy 2 and 9. In like manner also, that women. Hold on, that what? That women. That what? That women. What is she? That women. That women. So this is talking about the women, right? We adorn themselves in modest apparel. In what? In modest apparel. In what? In modest apparel. So what does that mean to have on modest apparel? The Lord said our women have to wear modest apparel. So what, is, what is modest apparel? Let me get Deuteronomy and hold that. Modest means to be, to be covered up. That's what modest means. Okay. Pant oh, she got pants on? Okay, but are we are our women allowed to wear pants according to the Bible? Okay, but we go we gonna show you the Lord gave us a dress code, right? So give me that uh Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Oh, hold on. No, they was wearing they was wearing britches, right? Yeah. So read that in uh, uh, twenty-two and five. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-two, verse five. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. The Lord said, the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Right? Did you know over a hundred years ago in America, right? That was called cross dressing, and a woman was getting arrested for wearing pants. Did you know that? I mean, did you know that? My goal is for you to repent and come back to the commandments. My goal—I already told you. My goal is for you to repent and keep the commandments, so we can get out of this captivity. Yes, who is Yahshua? Uh -huh. Okay. But how do we do that? Hold that. Let me get Isaiah 59 and 1. All right, hold on. Stay right there. Read, finish that off. Do the running. Okay, hold But the thing is, the Lord said, my sheep hear my voice. So when we bring these scriptures out, it's up to you if you want to take heed and apply it to your life. We can't come out here and beg nobody to keep God's commandments. 
Either you love God or you don't love God. It's, it's real simple. Right? So read that. Don't want to love. If, sister, we wouldn't be out here if we wasn't doing it anymore. We, look, we could be doing anything under the sun right now. We could be getting high, we could be getting drunk, we could be doing a job bar, we could be uh, robbing people, right, carjacking. But we out here trying to teach our people how to get the kingdom of heaven. So read that. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. A what? A woman's garment. You go into that word in the Hebrew, woman's garment would mean a dress. What you mean, woman? But, but according, to the, according to the laws of God, a woman has to wear a dress. Hey, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. But, hold on. But the thing is, you said those women's pants. So is it the same thing as a man's dress? What if they, hold on. What if they, what, yeah, hold on. No, listen, hold on. So what if I, what if I went into Macy's and they had, in the men's department, they had men's dresses, men's purses, men's pants. Does that make it right? I'm just asking, does that make it right? What are you doing with the zipper? What do women need a zipper for? Yeah, we 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 not arguing. We just trying to teach you the uh, right. But but the thing, okay. But well, we only here for our people. We ain't out here for all the people. But the thing is, are you are you go are you go take heed? Are you go take heed and, and change your life? Read that. Give me that Hebrews real quick. Give me. But you still you got more change to do. So we, okay, okay, go to that Hebrews 10, 26. Real quick, what is the Bring that up. All right, hold on. But the Lord told us to judge. Hold on. That, don't the Bible tell us to judge? Did you know that was in the Bible? Did you know that was in the Bible system? The Lord told us to judge. Did you know that? Yeah, the Lord. Give me that in uh, Corinthians. Hold on, sister. Come on, sister. Don't do that. Don't do that. You can't say something. Hold on. Hey, hey, Salaki. Hey, sister, you can't say something and walk away. I asked you for two, but hey, if you want to stay here longer, right? Like, right okay, so we, you did, I gave you two or more. But but you okay. ain't got, I, sister, you can't say something about the Bible and walk away, sister. It was so nice to meet you all. The Lord said, love is keeping his commandments, sister. Read that. Bring that out, Hebrews 10, 26. The book of Hebrews chapter 10, verse 26. For if we sin willfully, if we do what? If we sin willfully, if she keep eating that shrimp, if we sin willfully, if she keep wearing that pants, if we sin willfully, if she don't put on modest apparel, if we sin willfully, so the Lord said, if we sin willfully, right? If you learn these laws, statutes, and commandments, and you continue to break them, you are sinning willfully, right? If the service of the Lord come out here and teach you that God said that shrimp, crab, and lobster is an abomination, and you continue to eat it, you are sinning willfully. 
right? So our women have to humble down and keep the laws of the Most High God, right? Let me get uh, Judges 2 and 16. I'm done.